yeah, so I'm back. Um, yeah, putting 10 month olds uh, to bed. Um, yeah, a little bit uh, difficult. Uh, anyway, um, so we're back talking about the pen. Won't do a review, uh, writing review uh, of it because, uh, yeah, there's so many people who have done, uh, written with this. So, um, impressions of this pen. Um, very polished, like, it is finished very, very nicely. Um, I did a review some time ago of um, uh, the president, um, platinum president, and uh, what I mentioned in that review, I'll actually show you, is um, I was a little bit uh, not very the gold trimming it had uh, platinum president uh, japan written on it and i wasn't too happy with um, yeah the, the quality of um, that but like you know this is just first rate it's uh, it's done very very nicely um no sharp edges it's uh, very smart looking i mean in comparison to yeah one one plonk i mean that is done very nicely i'm the platinum president uh equivalent of that uh yeah it was nowhere as nice um, and as polished as these two pins um let's get back into focus now um reason why i bought this um this is referred to referred by many people as the writer's pin it's um, very comfortable to hold um, I don't have large hands I don't have small hands I mean I can easily play an octave on the piano so I mean I consider people who cannot play an octave on a piano as having small hands people who can play an octave is yes, medium average uh, hands um, I can play an octave and two keys reasonably easily um if you can play one and a half octaves then you've got large hands i mean this unposted is perfectly fine in my opinion for me um posted fine as well but um i will weigh it and measure it and put the details uh, in the description so uh worthwhile purchase I mean, she just absolutely loves it um would have been nicer if uh, the nib was a little bit finer i mean this is extra fine but uh, and it is a bit wet um what i will do is um oh, i haven't uh, asked her i'm sure she'll be fine i mean this is a notebook so what uh, she does is uh, she keeps her pin in this uh, quiver thing it's um, quiver you can look it up it's uh, made by an american company absolutely wonderful um so um, this is a lustrum yeah, lustrum book um today we were um fiddling around with this pin and um, i will actually do a close-up to show you That's a bit too close. Um, so we we're doing a bit of writing now. Uh, the writing in the red sort of pen as um, a noodleless Conrad, and uh, yeah. what, what's written in the corner in blue is uh, using the Pelican. Uh, M600. Um, if you look on the next page, um, there's a lot of uh, ghosting and bleed through. So, um, yeah. the Lustrum uh, notebooks, they, uh, I find they actually bleed um, a little bit more and there's a little bit more ghosting compared to the Clairefontaine Rodeo books. Um, my wife prefers these compared to uh, the web 
notebooks and um, yeah, the Clairefontaine books. Um, the reason for that is uh, with Lustrum books, you get. Uh, uh, I mean, decent size, uh, of course. Um, but also, the cover is um, it's more of a cardboard feel compared to the web notebooks, which uh, has got more of a um, fake leather feel. Also, with the Lustrum books, you get um, the back few pages are perforated, so you can actually take it uh, out. And also, all the pages are numbered, which is... Um, which is good and you get an index and uh, you also get some stickers which you can put up here to um, yeah, label your notebooks it also contains way more pages compared to a web notebook however it's nice to always open a new notebook and use it so I mean the web notebook having I think about 50 less pages I mean that's not necessarily a bad thing I mean you'll finish your notebook and you know open up a new notebook which is a joyful thing so uh, yeah um, she's uh, I'll try to see if she she'll do a review at some point in time about her impressions on this so uh, yeah um, very nice pin um, ink capacity is also very good um, I think it's actually more than your standard converter and um, yeah, it's extremely nice. Um, oh, I also must mention, so when I initially bought this, um, when we initially inked it up, we inked it up with, uh, what did I ink it up with? No, I don't think I inked it up with this, but I inked it up with uh, Konpeki, um, Pilot Euro Suzuku Konpeki. And what we found is that ink is actually quite wet and there was quite a lot of bleed through on uh, the loose from paper and so we um, I emptied it and I put um, the Pelican Eldestine Sapphire and uh, that was slightly bitter but um, yeah just uh, something for you to be aware of, aware of. Um, also for her birthday I bought her this leather bound notebook um yeah we'll do a review hopefully she i might do a review so i bought it from uh pen heaven service was absolutely excellent um we live almost in the middle of nowhere in new zealand and this is i think they're somewhere in the uk probably london um, i don't know some, i've never been to england so somewhere in the uk and um it arrived within two weeks of me ordering it. Got a name uh, engraved here, and uh, this smells of real leather. I mean, it is real leather. It smells this divine. It's yeah, uh, like if you like leather smell, and uh, yeah, that opens up, and uh, this is all plain uh, pages seems to be fountain pen uh, friendly um, yeah it's uh, in quite a lot of pages um, I don't know the exact I think this has got 250 pages if you count uh, both sides does it have to oh, let me. I don't want to lie so how many pages does this have Yeah, this, this must have about 200 pages uh, and so uh, this is twice yeah. so, uh, no not 200 pages a hundred I think it's 150 uh, I'll put it in the description well this has got a lot of pages I mean it's uh, it's huge uh, I uh, I showed it to a few few people at work um, and I asked them hey do you uh, what do you think of uh, this gift that I'm uh, going to give my wife in a few days? And they, um, initially, they thought it was a Bible or something like that. But uh, yeah, plain notebook, very nice. Um, yeah, so um, that's it. If you want to know more about um, these things, uh, let me know, and um, we'll see you later. Oh, must mention one more thing. Um, 
I'll, if I'm allowed, I'll also add a video to the end of this of uh, what my 10 month old thinks of uh, the Pelton M600. I mean, it was quite hilarious. He uh, showed it to him, we, he took it and ran away with it or crawled away with it. And it was quite hilarious. Uh, also, earlier on today, he got his first uh, ink stain on his fingers. Um, I, um, uh, when I filled the M600 up, I um, blotted it with some tissue that was here, and so he grabbed hold of the tissue, and his fingers had um, ink stains on it, and he was uh, waving this uh, Pelicano around. And, uh, yeah, it's, uh, He's 21 years old, I'll show it to him. I love it. So, yeah. yeah. See you later. Bye. <laughs>